Alright class, welcome back from lunch. As we did previously, we'll continue our lesson on the Silk Road. Uh, I think, Emma, pass out now. Blue. Oh my god, Dirk, you really don't feel too good. Go to the principal, but you're not in trouble. Hi Daniel, what brings you to my office this time? I threw up in class after eating one of my chicken drumsticks that Daniel and Cindy stepped on at lunch. I am sorry to hear that, you're not in trouble, you can leave the school, and I will call Daniel and Cindy down here, they are in deep trouble, but you are not. Daniel and Cindy both of you come into my office now. So the both of you stepped on one of Dirk's chicken drumsticks and made him eat it and he threw up, did the both of you do it, tell me now now now. Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, 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 fine. We did, and we're deeply sorry. Don't be a monster to us, please. Oh my frickin' god, what the frick is wrong with you? How dare you poison a classmate's lunch? That's it, you're expelled from this campus. J out of school grounds now, ooh. Daniel, you are grounded for 1,000 decades for poisoning Dirk's food with your icky dirty shoes. What is the matter with you now? Exactly. You are grounded for 1,000 decades and that's the end of the book. Now go to bed, and no Cindy for a year. Cindy what the freak how could you poison Dirk's chicken with your shoes that are dirty on bottom? You young lady shall be ashamed for yourself. Yup. You are grounded for the same amount of time Daniel is grounded. March to your room now, and sleep forever with no Daniel for a year. Oh Dirk, I am so sorry for you. What Daniel and Cindy did is not what you deserve. Why don't you rest in bed while I set up a doctor's appointment, and let me know if you need anything. Okay, Mom.